So here's a problem and questions that I've always gotten when using Adobe Spark Post. I'm trying to put together a winter festival poster and I have an image of a snowman that I want to add to this. I want to add the snowman right in the corner. So you'll notice that when I add this file, I was able to upload my snowman poster, but look what happens. It adds that photo as another image inside a frame. So it added a second frame. Rather than taking this image of the snowman and overlaying that directly in the snow like I want to do. So there's a couple things that you have to do when this happens. So I'm just going to go to undo. And what I need to do now is just to edit that image. First off, I need to remove the white background from the outside. And then I need to save that image as a PNG file. So there's lots of different ways to do this. What I'm going to do is just show you one of the web-based ways, and that's using the website called Sumo Paint. So if you go to sumopaint.com, scroll down, and do Open Sumo Paint, this is going to give you an online version of a photo editor. It's going to look very similar to what you may be used to in Photoshop. This one is web-based. You can access it anywhere. So I want to start by opening that photo of the snowman. Here it is. I have my photo, and this is the white part that I just need to remove. So I'm going to go to this section up at the top. So the tool I'm going to use is right over here, and I'm going to choose the magic wand. And all I'm going to do is just click somewhere in this white area, drag that down, and all I'm going to do is go to Edit, Cut, and the background is removed. Now I'm going to try that again at the bottom. Edit, Cut, around the outside here again, and then just that one little spot at the bottom. Good. So now I'm set. I have my image with the background removed. So now I need to save this. Remember, the file type that I need to save this as is a PNG file. So from Sumo Paint, I'm going to go to File, Save to My Computer, and select the destination where I want this file to be saved. Remember, just make sure that you save this as a PNG file. And then click Save. So now in Adobe Spark, I'm going to add the file, but this time I'm going to add my snowman PNG file. This image is now an overlay in the background and I can move this anywhere. I can also play around with this text. There's lots of different things that I can do now that I have this image in the background rather than simply having that stuck as another image inside a second frame. So I hope this helped.